Hi guys, welcome back to some more action with Nuremberg on Football Manager. We um, we are at the end of the first season. I'll quickly show you the uh, results of uh, how we go on after the uh, winter break. First game we played back was against Darmstadt, which is a, uh, a TV game. We won the game 1-0 in the 91st minute with a penalty from uh, Candeas. Our next game after that was... Where's it gone? No, it's gone right onto the bottom again. We played Bochum, and that was away, and that was a one-all draw. Malapa with the goal, and uh, Terode with the equaliser for Bochum, eight minutes from time. We then played Al at home, won the game 1-0. Jakob Silves with the goal after nine minutes. We then suffered our only loss in the second half of the season. That was away against uh, Red Bull, and that was a... Uh, Pretty tough loss to take, to be honest. With uh, we were three-one down by half time, and just could not get back into that game. We bounced back though with a win against Braunschweig. Ryan Mason from the penalty spot after 12 minutes. We then faced Greta Firth away from home and drew that game nil-nil. We uh, then had another home game, this time against Sandhausen and Jakob Sylvester with the goal after 33 minutes. Ryan Mason was booked, uh, oh, sorry, was injured after the 45th. So we weren't doing too bad at that part of the season. We, uh, away from home again, had a one all draw against uh, uh, Inglestadt. We, uh, we were behind just after half time from a goal by Matthew Leckel, but Jakob Sylvester with the equaliser in the 67th minute. We then played Karlsruhe away from home. A 1-0 win, Jakob Sylvester with the goal in that game in the second half. So at this point we weren't doing too bad in terms of uh, the whole season. A couple of home games in a row though. First one was a draw against Eintracht, for, sorry, Frankfurt uh, Ehrenbrück. And we uh, unfortunately, yeah, drew that game. I thought that was one we should have won uh, we then played Hamburg, uh, St Pauli, and we won that game. Uh, Schopf with the goal after the 39th minute. I thought we deserved to win that game, but the one before against Frankfurt, uh, Erlen Bruch, I thought we uh, should have uh, we should have won that one. We had two games that were draws. This game, a 2-2 draw against Munchen Lions. Uh, Sylvester and Stark with the two goals. We were... Uh, we were 1-0 up, we then went 2-1 then went down, we then drew, uh, got the goal back to draw at 2-2. Uh, another draw which seemed to put our season in jeopardy as uh, as uh, other teams were catching us up at near the top of the table. We were ahead after two minutes, but we were all square by the 14th and could just not get that, uh, that vital goal. We then um, went away. Uh, to Dusseldorf and we won that game 1-0 Malap with a goal in the 79th minute our final game of the season was a 3-0 draw away from home we were 1-0 up inside 4 minutes Ryan Mason from the penalty spot we were then 2-1 down Lakic with 2 goals for Kaiserlaut and 1 from the penalty spot Polak made it 3-2 uh, with 2 goals in 90 minutes but then Javier Pinola with an own goal in the 89th minute made it a, uh, a three all draw we are promoted to the first division that is uh, I can definitely tell you that we are promoted to the first division and I will now show you where we finished there you go we finished champions by two points so I was very nervous towards the end of the end of the season those those draws in the final few games really did make it nervous. We were, uh, Red Bull were pushing us all the way, and uh, yeah, it just it wasn't it wasn't as comfortable as I would like it to be. But Red Bull Leipzig were were fantastic. They um, they pushed us all the way. Obviously, they beat us in that vital game. But we did we did okay. We've scored fifty nine goals. Scored six against Darmstadt, five against Munchen Lions, four against Heidelheim, four against Hamburg, four against Red Bull, four against Berlin and Greuther Firth. Conceded the most against Red Bull, we conceded six against them, three in each game. Sandhausen we conceded four against and everyone else, yeah, 31 goals conceded. There was only uh, Dusseldorf who conceded, we scored three against them and uh, Red Bull scored three against them. But other than that, see there's 34 down here. 
for, for Braunschweig, but unfortunately they just could not score goals. Um, we scored 59 goals, and that puts us at second in the table on goals scored. Obviously, uh, Red Bull were top. Goals against, you can see there was either a third. Goal difference, we were severely clear with uh, with Red Bull. And Dusseldorf was seven behind us. You, you look down and there's only seven teams, eight teams that, that had a positive goal difference. Um, only lost four games, so did uh, did uh, Red Bull. We lost to Red Bull twice, and Sandhausen. We lost three away games. Only lost one at home. Lost to uh, Red Bull, Sandhausen, and Braunschweig away from home. Um, yeah, we we uh, we didn't do too bad. If, if the thing is Red Bull, it's the fact we. We played them obviously twice, lost twice, but we still managed to get out on top. So it wasn't as convincing as I would have liked, but it was still a uh, it was still a nice win. We have a lot, a lot of uh, players who had their contracts increased, some by just a yearly wage rise, and obviously the uh, promotion wage rise for a lot of these players. Mendel a thirty percent wage increase, Stark thirty percent wage increase. I mean. I'm going to show you uh, the transfers that we have coming up. I have um, already signed a few players, even though they uh, can't come through yet, as they obviously can't sign until the 1st of July. But we have three players coming in. The first one is a new player to us, and that is uh, Mateus Regis from... Uh, Where is he from? I think he's actually a free agent, but we can't sign him yet. He played for Fluminese. Well, he was with Fluminese. He was attached to Fluminese. My scouting report said he would be a, a half decent player in the future. And he had some decent potential, and uh, he was recommended to us. The other three players who I have signed are all with us, and they were all with us on loan. Candeas is joining for five hundred thousand pounds from Benfica, joining permanently there, first of the seventh. I thought it was a good idea to get him in. Eight goals and ten assists in thirty-three appearances for us. Um, Malapa was the other one. I wanted another striker in, um, as one of my strikers I think is going to be leaving. And Malapa, you can see, had seven goals, three assists in 23 games. And Christian Ramirez, he was our stalwart left back. 17 games, one goal. But he's hopefully uh, coming through and going to be a, a good player for us. The player. I'm looking forward to you using is this uh, Mario St uh, Stepinski who is on loan at Vistler but my scout reports say he is up there with Jakob Sylvester and I think I'm going to look to play him and I may look to cash in on Nicholas Fulkrug who is valued at 1.7 million he's 22 years of age he's down as the report as has been up there Potentials four star, four star. His current ability is three and a half star. He has requested to leave, so if we can cash in on him, it would be a nice thing to do. One point seven million, so um, and ten grand a week off the books. His morale is very poor, so I would be looking to uh, to get rid of him. Um, Candace is coming in for five hundred thousand. Uh, Regis is coming in for free. Malapa is coming in for eight hundred thousand. And Ramirez is coming in as well for eight hundred thousand. These were all um, part of their loan agreements where we could sign them. So I wanted to keep the the base of the squad together. So I am looking to do that. One of the other things I am looking to do this season will be to give my young keepers here, Patrick uh, Rakowski, ability is three and a half star. His potential is four star. Raphael Schaefer is getting old. Unfortunately, he's coming to being 36 years of age, so I am looking to uh, make this his potentially his last season with the club. He's on 35 grand a week as well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna mix and match my two keepers. Um, uh, Rakowski is only 22 years of age. I don't want to really um, throw him in there. So he's saying he has uh, he's my number one keeper. So. I will be looking to use him. Uh, Alexander Stepan as well, he's no value to him. Um, 
his contract is up shortly and it's seven grand a week I'm potentially going to get off the wage budget as well so I'm going to let him go Benjamin Uphoff is a young keeper who we have through the books there's also uh, Leon Kraft and uh, uh, Sebastian uh, Klob who will also help out we have Schaefer for this season and uh, Rakowski will be there for a couple more seasons at least um, let's have a look what should we have a look at there's a couple of other decent players who uh, see their potential uh, Stepinski the, stri the striker I want to use Ramirez is up there as well Stark we have and Kolak this was another guy I want to look to try and use another striker he's 21 years of age has some good pace some good finishing in terms of the whole report see he is fourth on the list but with full Krug going, Malapa's going to be there. So this uh, Kolak, I may let him go out on loan again. I'm just not 100% certain what to do. His contract runs out next season. I don't really want to piss him off. So I may try and keep him and use him in certain games. We are going to have to manage the squad a lot better this year, being in the Bundesliga. But um, we all just have to see in terms of what we can do with... Um, with the squad I'm just I am worried and I'm more worried about um, our central defenders uh, Evan Hovland is due to come back in three to four months so after the um, winter break he should be available and he is our number one centre back so hopefully we can get him some uh, some game time and he will help us out Casper Gorks, he's three star, he's going to help us out this season, but I think that's realistically going to be it with him. We are struggling, and I am looking to bring in centre backs as well. That is one area where we need, we do need some, uh, we do need some cover. Squad depth, you see there, we have Casper Gorks, Hovland, and Penola, but Penola is playing left back. I know we have Candace who can play there as well, but. We are struggling. See, strikers, Sylvester and Stepinski, we have our two strikers. Fulcrug can leave and we can use. If we can get the 1.5 ish for him, then obviously um, the board will keep, uh, will let me keep 80% of transfer funds. So I really need to sell him for about 2 million, which will give me around 1.6. And, and then I need to look, I do need to strengthen the defence, especially, obviously. It's, so we sort of proved with looking at the league table that we weren't um, we weren't pressed too much in terms of uh, players uh, in terms of goal scoring threats. I mean, we had the best goal difference in the league because we were able to outscore teams. Yes, we didn't concede many, but there wasn't that many teams with a positive goal difference because teams just weren't scoring that many goals. Whereas it's going to be different in the Bundesliga and coming up against um, against uh, Dortmund against Bayern, Wolfsburg, all these teams, we we could, if we don't sort our defence out, we could ship a load of goals in. So I am looking to bring in a, a defender or two. In terms of the finances, we have 3.7 million. We are currently... Um, uh, 2 million of that is going to go to the players who are current, who will be coming in. So we have around a million left give or take signing on fees and everything and salaries current what current spend is 384,000 we're allowed to spend 450,000 so we we do have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, money available you see here's a contract for uh, for Ramirez is 1.75 I say 1.7 per week, so he's uh, on. He's not on that much wage. Malapa's on 24,000 a week, which is okay. Candelas, 3,000 a week. So there's not much in terms of, and, and Regis, I'm sure, is on, on very little. Um, so we don't have that much in terms of uh, expenditure in. In wage budget, our current wage budget we have available is is at 60, 65,000. That will go down to about 40,000 left in our transfer budget. will go down to about 1.1 million-ish. So if we can sell full Krug, 
that will give us another 10,000 on the, the wage budget and say 1.5 million in terms of transfer budget that will give us enough to bring in hopefully a half decent centre back if not two or maybe look to bring in one youth centre back and one decent centre back so and that is where I'm going to ask my, uh, my scouts uh, to look for the club in general is doing really well we'll have a look at the board and see uh, the board are pleased my job is 57% uh, secure the club stature is 81% Wages are sixty-seven percent. Scored how many? Ninety-nine. Job status thirty percent. Let's have a look at that one. Since you would not cost that much money to terminate my contract, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty percent for the cup and fifty percent for the league. Uh, the minimum expectation for the team is to stay clear of the automatic relegation from the first division. So the board will want me to finish 15th or higher I think we can achieve that I think that's definitely something that that can be achieved um, in terms of the schedule I am uh, I've arranged some well hopefully arranged I've proposed some friendlies hopefully we have some friendlies against uh, Dresden Club Bruges Standard Liège and Spurs hopefully we can get uh, those if uh, those uh, fixtures in we then have a, a German Cup game before our first game of the season is against Red Bull Leipzig an opposition we know well so it would be nice to start with a win against those get some revenge for the two defeats in the league last season and that's a home game our first away game is against Frankfurt we then play Hamburg at home Hertha, Köln, Dortmund, Bremen, BMG Wolfsburg, Augsburg, Hoffenheim Hanover and then we've got a nice game against Bayern in uh, November we've got Leverkusen Schalke, well, for some reason this name is Gelsenkirchen now, aren't they? Then we've got Freiburg, Mainz, and then uh, that's it. We have a break after the 19th of December, back on the 23rd of January. So yeah, the squad's looking pretty good. We're um, we're not doing too bad in terms of the squad depth and everything we've kept a lot of players there that we needed to and we're um we're doing we're doing we're doing well we are doing really well and to get promoted in the first season yeah it was it was something that needed to be done and um uh, I'm just glad that we managed to to get uh, everything done and get get promoted last season but I think we may have a tough job on our hands staying up I am just concerned that um, that we are uh, we just haven't got the defensive cover that we need um, and that is a real a real worry I, I, that is, I am really concerned about that but guys, I will leave it there. It's a nice little uh, update from Nuremberg and I'll be back with you with another one at the uh, winter break. Um, about a week or so, I think. Um, maybe a bit longer. Obviously, like I said, I've been playing this game during lunch breaks and whatnot at work to uh, just to keep me occupied. So yeah, it'll be about maybe a week and a bit before I get back to to, to do another an update from uh, from uh, Nuremberg. Obviously, I'm trying to get the, uh, the Spurs one done as well. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Cheers.